everybody, Joanne Nurse Kitty Bush here. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kitty. I know you're so excited. This is officially episode number eight, and I'm super excited to use my new Christmas present that my mother sent me. Check this out. As seen on TV, that copper pan that you can cook pretty much anything in, and you can also throw it in the oven. It comes with this little handy-dandy cookbook, and I'm going to do my version of one of the recipes in here, which is a shrimp stir-fry. So it says to first heat up the pan on high just to get the copper kind of warm. Um, technically with this kind of pan you don't really even have to use any kind of oil, but I'm using sesame oil for flavor. Just to throw that in there. I've already um, ahead of time chopped up my vegetables, so this is going to be healthy. I have in here uh, cauliflower, cauliflower, broccoli, some of the zucchini that we actually got pre-sliced at the 99 cent store. I cut that up. That's not your traditional, you know stir-fry uh, vegetable. Normally you would have snow peas, and I thought about them, but you know me, I didn't. Um, broccoli, see, red pepper, and also some garlic. I know some of you really like that trick that I taught you last time about peeling the garlic. How many of you out there have tried it? It really is quite amazing, isn't it? I'm also putting some mushrooms in here, some sliced mushrooms. And today we're using shrimp. Pardon me. Shrimp. This one is... Uh, Peeled with the tail off. Get this from Pavilions, a uh, very good BOGO sale where you buy one bag, get the other one free. So basically it's like two bags for $10. You add all that in there and you just kind of stir fry it. I guess that's where they got the name, right? Um, one of our viewers has called in with a question because I guess you can make this tofu and people think tofu is a superfood. We've been ingrained to believe that for years and years and years. You know, stop eating meat and go tofu way. Well, I've been reading up, and actually, um, that's kind of false. Tofu is not really good for you, unless, of course, it is fermented and organic. Of course, anything organic, then you know where it's coming from, without the GMO. But some of the things that um, bad soy can do to your body is it increases your uh, goitrogens. I don't know if I said that right, but goitrogens, which can inhibit the thyroid from uh, utilizing iodine in your body, and that can lead to hypothyroidism. And that's already kind of a problem with a lot of women as it is, so you don't want to compound that with eating too much soy. Another thing is that it has plant, pro, plant estrogens called phytoestrogens, which can increase, increase your estrogen level, which is bad for both men and women. For women, it can lead, uh, lead to an increase in breast cancer, and for men, it can a actually decrease libido. And ladies, we don't want that. Okay. So that's my little tip for the, for the day. So um, soy, you know... I, I do like the soybeans from the sushi place, so ed edamame, edamame, the edamame. All right, bean sprouts. We used these in our other dish last week. Tie lettuce wraps. Tie a wrap of lettuce around the old turkey. I'm going to add that in there, and then good old water chestnuts. It isn't a Chinese meal, Asian meal. We don't discriminate without some kind of water chestnuts to give it that added crunch. And we're just going to let that all cook up. Um, this would go nicely over a nice bed of rice that we have made ahead of time. Rice takes about 20 minutes. Just read the package directions. And, oh, we forgot our onions. Never forget your onions. I'm using a white onion. I chopped one whole white onion, plus I added some green onions. Another word for that is scallions. So this is going to be really nice, chock full of flavor, nice and colorful. And we kind of let that cook. And then we're going to add, it says, I'm actually following, like, from this recipe book somewhat. To add a stir fry sauce. And remember last week I bought some new sauces at the 99 cent store. So this one is actually says stir fry sauce. So I'm gonna throw that in there. But of course I can't just do one sauce. No, no, no. I've got to mix and match. So I'm gonna throw in a little soy sauce. Like that. And um, just let that simmer. So this just doesn't take long at all. Um, you'll be able to tell, you know, the shrimp is done when it turns pink, of course. You know that, and if you're using the ones that are already like pre-cooked that are frozen, you just basically heat, heat it up. All right, look at that. Oh, of course I'm gonna add. Remember those coconut cashews that we got at Trader Joe's last week? Like a kung pao chicken, only it's gonna be a, a cashew shrimp. I'm gonna throw those in there for a little air crunch. And there we go. So that's really nice. I'm gonna cut that up. Let that. Sit. So look at the magic of TV. So, I should say internet. Here's a little batch that's already done and cooked. Can't really see it. I'm going to put it in one of my nice new clear bowls that my mother also sent me for Christmas. Thanks, Mom. Hi, Mindy Porteous. 
Oh, by the way, that question about the soy, that was from one of our viewers, Lauren Weaver, out there in South Carolina. Hi, Lauren. Hi, buddy. That's her little dog. She, um, she's the one, she wanted me to make a tofu uh, stir fry, so I, I was just telling her. I would talk to her about why tofu is not really good for you, because that's a soy-based thing. Okay, and look at that. Looks pretty good. I'm going to add some sriracha sauce because I like things a little spicy. And that's it. Now, how about that for quickness? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be making a Facebook page shortly, and I will be inviting you all to it. All right, God bless. Happy holidays.